Hey ISG, this is Aaron. We had a question from Marlon uh, asking about one-handed reloads. So we did a video of this a while back uh, in response to Dom Rosso, who's a Navy SEAL, and he, he was advocating taking your pistol, trapping it between your knees, and then working your problem in terms of getting your pistol reloaded and back in the fight. So one of the reasons that we don't like that is because it really limits your, your visual acuity and your mobility. If you have a pistol trapped between your legs, any movement's going to risk dropping that on the ground. In fact, it's going to almost guarantee it. So one of the things that we advocate is if your pistol ends up at slide lock, instead of trying to find some place to trap it, like behind your leg or in your uh, between your knees, return that pistol to your holster. Okay, so take your magazine, drop it, turn the pistol to the holster, spare the magazine in, and then you have your pistol back in the fight. Uh, now, the benefits of this is that First of all, you can keep your head up the whole time and you can move. So that's a big thing. And when we're talking about three seconds, we're handing three seconds of administrative tasks to whoever the adversary is that we're fighting. Okay? And if that's more than one guy, that's a long time. The second thing is, when you think about the movements that we're committing ourselves to with this action, this is all very common stuff, right? When we draw our pistol, it's that exact same procedure in reverse. When we go to holster our pistol, it's the exact same procedure. So we're looking at a consistency across these different techniques. So we're not introducing some new template or new palette of skills that you have to learn. We're sticking with the old stuff that we know works consistently every day, in and out, anytime we pull our pistol. So what I'm gonna do is discuss for a second um, how to do this. If for whatever reason, it's your dominant side hand that goes down, because we did not discuss that in the, in the previous videos. And the way that the way that I do this personally is I ignore the fact that my holster is on my dominant side. So if I have to have to go for a similar thing, I'll take my my um, middle finger, and I'll drop my magazine that way. I'll take my pistol and just shove it right in my waistband. Okay, it's not too cluttered down here, believe it or not. It looks like a lot of stuff, and it is, but it still works. So just jam your pistol into your trousers. After dropping your, your spent magazine, grab your, your full magazine, tap it into place. I use the belt rack. I've done it for years. It works. I've done it in fights. So it works for me. Um, I know every time you hear that, a red flag should go up. But in this case, I put it through some live fire paces and it, it works pretty well. Um, and done it quite a few times in ECQC. So um, I think that it's pretty well vetted at this point. Um, in any case, that's how we're going to do our support side single-handed reloads. Now, again, very low priority event. Uh, you're probably not going to come across that. And if you do, really, your first priority is get yourself to some cover. You don't need to be standing around. Uh, so just book it and get over there so where you, you can work. Now, um, it's important to note that your posture and your clothing will, will affect this some, to some degree. Um, for example, if you're wearing a, a, you know, a longer hoodie or jackets or things like that, you're going to have a lot more garments to sweep out of the way. And they're going to naturally you know, want to fall right in front of you, especially if you keep stuff in the front pocket of a hoodie or things like that. So find a way that works around your carry method and your clothing. Uh, it may be better for you to sweep back and then put your, your pistol in your um, dominant side at 4 o'clock or um, in this case, as it may be, the uh, 8 o'clock position. So. Take a, take a day and just kind of work some of these drills into your curriculum. Um, you'll find that most of the stuff can be done dry fire and then verified live on the range, and you're no worse off. Anyway, we hope this helps. Uh, thank you, Marlon, for bringing this question up. Uh, and if it hasn't met your, your expectations in any way, let us know. We'll do another. Thank you.